we've had a lot of news in the last week. We got Landon here. Matt is in Las Vegas now, but he did not see Las Vegas. We're going to talk about the mega block first. Landon is joining us from the ranch in Colorado. Happy to be here, Bradford. Yeah, it's a beautiful September day. Best time of the year where I am. So really enjoying. You caught me on my day off, so I'm sorry I'm not wearing my suit and tie today. Velvet jacket or whatever it is, a smoker jacket. That's plenty for me. I just have the Optimus t-shirt on. Excellent. That's a rather important part of our future, isn't it? So we got a hint that they might use Optimus to install Mega Blocks. Let's start with the Mega Block, the video that we have. Great. I'm a sucker for music, so that got me going pretty good. 20 megawatt hours was blowing my mind. One of the first bits of news we got about the Mega Block was that they were expanding the Mega Pack 2 XL so that the Mega Pack 3 was going to have five megawatt hours of battery storage, not just four. And they're using a whole new type of battery, which blows my mind as well. <laughs> Talking about some two two liter or two and a half liter battery, which is like size of a half gallon with probably LFP cells. What was going through your head as the presentation was starting? Really exciting. It was after dinner for us and we watched a show before that. I said, okay, the promo video is on for Viva Las Megas for the new mega pack information. We didn't know Tesla mega block yet we settled in and like you i like to get excited for these kind of things and the music they always pick is on point and so we're four or five seven minutes late something like that but at least we get a little miniature rave in our living room while we're waiting for him to come on and then yeah right into the meat of the thing this is not just marketing this is details and these are great reasons for people to go to work for Tesla. They're hiring, looking for qualified people, technicians and high paying jobs. I couldn't recommend more working for Tesla in that capacity if you have that kind of experience. But when it comes to the Mega Block and the Mega Pack 3, you nailed it, going from four up to five megawatt hours that's really impressive on its own when you add the bus bars they've created to eliminate the cabling and put four of those in with a homemade tesla transformer you've got tesla mega block and this is really cool some people thought the event might be about a Tesla mini pack or something residential sized or community subdivision sized instead of our mega pack that is really good for the big corporations and communities in, together. But no, we got the big boy. We got four mega pack threes welded together with the new technology bus bars the new transformers that they're making. I got to tell you, Bradford, one of my former clients used to have a transformer business. In the middle of nowhere, he trucked copper in and he trucked transformers out, and it was a big business. He said it was a tough business because of the price of copper. He was tied profit-wise to the price of copper building transformers. It was really a boomer bus cycle for him. Tesla has the deep pockets to handle this, to smooth out the logistics, to find the copper prices when they're right. I'm really excited about the transformer part of Megablock. What did you think about that? The transformer is a huge bottleneck in the electrical industry. There's a huge backlog of transformers. Eaton, which is a big maker of phase three transformers, they're trying to expand their production, but they can't. Like all these transformers, 
there's like cus different custom specs. You have, I don't know, 224 kilovolts and you need to get it down to whatever the factory needs. You can also have a hundred kilovolts or 700. So Tesla's transformer is rated to up to a million volts. I saw this wow. in very faint gray, it said MV, so up to a million volts. So this is huge because there's no additional production coming online for a couple of years. They can't just expand more in Texas where Eaton already has a big factory. They're mm -hmm. building a factory in the Carolinas, but they have to wait a couple of years. You're right. Eaton and is a big boy in that, in the electrical business. In fact, they're diversified across consumer products. You might look in your circuit breaker panel and see Eaton on your breakers or the panels. They have an amazing history in the electrical business. A lot mm -hmm. of people, that's the go-to company for parts. So I'm glad to see that those are the people that are out there trying to make them. And what can Tesla learn from them? What will Tesla's first transformer look like? Will we get to version three before it's perfect or will version one be good right out of the box? I'm curious how soon we get the transformer. So it sounds like we're waiting on this mega pack three Houston to make the mega pack three, which will especially hook into this switch gear and the transformer. There's a over a hundred week wait for transformers. Yeah. So BR Cooper at underscore BR Cooper on X replied to my tweet about transformers. One, one project, just his latest project, there's 143 week wait time for transformers. Maybe you could bribe the company to get a little <laughs> faster, but. That's well, no, Elon finds ways rate. to get high demand products faster, doesn't he? I'm thinking GPUs. Yeah. Elon has a hammer, but according to Tesla, they're going to be making these or directly sourcing them. They got a firm commitment for supply. Another thing in transformers, you mentioned copper is there's like the special electrical steel. The acronym for it is G O E S. There's a special electrical steel. Allegedly there's one main plant in the U S that makes it. I was really excited to see the transformer, which is the big bottleneck for demand, the, a lack of transformers. If you're doing a project, it creates uncertainty and stretches out your timeline. You sure have does. to order the transformer as soon as you do the utility interconnect. If you want a data center, you cannot wait three years for a transformer. You absolutely cannot wait three years to put in a data center. No, you can't. So you have to come up with solutions on your own or you're waiting in line on queue with everybody else. When I was a young manager, Bradford, I complained to my general manager, this is in the car business, working for Ford at a Ford dealership. I complained to my general manager. I said, these salespeople, they don't know what they're doing. They've got all these problems and we could sell a lot more cars if we just had better salespeople. He looked at me, he said, Landon, that's why I've got you. You're the one that needs to come up with the way to sell cars with the salespeople that we have. I think Rumsfeld had a similar quote about 20 years ago. He says, you don't go to war with the military that you wish you had. You go to war with the military that you have. And so Tesla is going to war with the military they have. You don't have enough power. We're going to bring in whatever it takes with mega packs and provide and sustain our own power. The world is tough out there. Everybody wants GPUs. Everybody wants transformers. Everybody wants more energy. Energy, the smart can find it and make it happen. And those are the companies I want to invest in. So you're in Colorado. I hear Denver's kind of rough and tumble. So bring your own army. That seems like some Wild West vibes right there. They talked about the number of batteries needed in, in the future. They estimate 46 terawatt hours. I don't know if that includes using hydrogen as a temporary store of energy or not. They, I think data centers are now 1% of GDP as far as the amount of construction that's going into data centers. I don't know if they're 1% of the electrical 
the energy demand, but they're saying in 2030, it's going to be 10% of total energy demand in the U.S. Lots of gigawatt hours of batteries coming online soon. We got a sandbag number for Tesla's current capacity with mega packs. They said 80 gigawatt hours of capacity. I think we know that Shanghai should be 80 by itself. Wow. Um, apparently <laughs> they don't have the equipment in yet. Maybe they don't have the battery supply they need or the power electronics. One thing I really liked is that the mega block, instead of being able to discharge all the power in four hours, does it in eight. You, you lose a little bit of the arbitrage with auto bidder opportunity. You can't just exclusively sell to the best four hours or the best two hours because you send the power out that quickly from the battery. But instead now it's eight but your bill significantly drops because of that. So you need super powerful power electronics, like a big inverter where inverter is a pipe and it can restrict the flow of power by doing its electrical magic or whatever. So you don't need as good of a inverter or as many of them. So that also drops your cost. I sure it does. The vertical integration that Tesla's got works perfectly because they can streamline everything needed to put those together. And I loved the part about how different this product is from other batteries you can buy. You can buy a shipping container of batteries from other companies, can't you? And yeah. so what do you get when you buy Tesla Mega Pack and Tesla Mega Block? You get the Tesla team for one, and we might not know what that means entirely when it comes to battery sales. But before we get to the Tesla team, you've got all of those Tesla made components and they're put together under factory conditions. They're not put together out in your dirt field with third parties arguing about what to do next or where to get the next components. With Tesla, you get that from the factory, they drop it in and they support the product. What you get with your annual subscription for a mega pack and mega block is the Tesla team monitoring 24 seven and more secret sauce that is the magic, that electrical magic that you spoke of. And of course, we're reminded of Elon's phrase that a lot of things that seem like magic are just really impressive engineering. There's some quote about technology and magic. It seems like magic to me.